Rick and Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse he can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Is he the only one? <laughs> You're not shy, are you? Just perceptive. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon coops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster. The missing piece has arrived. Welcome, Eivor. Lord, this has the looks of a Norse war camp. Plenty of stout-looking men. The fruits of your labors, Eivor. The kings you've helped have sent men and more as tribute. You have my thanks. Thank me later. A battle looms. <laughs> True enough. Your cousin awaits inside the tent of command. I'll soon follow to plan our next move. Ah, Eivor! Look at me. Part of Flan's war council. Not bad for a viking good, eh? You've gained his trust. I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. Viking smell. My king, we are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Cashelord Castle divides Ulster and Connacht, taking it would isolate each from each. Cashelord is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But, for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and breaks the gate locks. Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you. Hey! Are you Flan Scout? <laughs> you are a bold adventurer to ask in these parts. Yes, I am. How might I enter the castle? Alone? You can try to climb its walls. A foolhardy move for such a small force. Is there a way to enter unseen? There must be a path below. Builders down there have reinforced the walls. A wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Vikinger. Bravely done, Eivor! Cashelor will be ours! <laughs> Launcher. To a battle well fought and blood well spilt. To Ireland. Skull. Ah. Another cup, my king? Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers, for her to craft a ballad. I'll give her your message, O oh brave king. Beareth, you deserve another drink. 
<laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leofal, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... It, the legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well, and her mother and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You are lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. Take care you do not place all your hopes in a single person. Ah, he's not without flaws, that one. But he can unite the island and protect my people. Ah, I all but forgot. Flon sent me to remind you to begin his ballot. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flon is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. Come, the army has been poisoned. Curse of Loki. Speak, Harson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barath? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison? Seven silver he paid! Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. My lord. Flattering words and servile gifts. All to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him! He says to me, poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me, life! Silence! Ah! Ah! Take this man away! No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira, I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. Ugh. Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah, one of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans. Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Barith, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. Let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid. Wise, despite her youth. Are you ready? I am curious to meet her. Kira, are you ready at last to return to the joys of the forest? Deirdre, this is my friend Eivor. I'm sorry to say we've come for help. Fear me. I hoped the auguries were mistaken. Children of Danu? Yes. Flan's army is spitting blood. 
You know what is needed. I'd hoped you'd find another way. What is this about? The children of Danu make the poison, but they also hold the key to its cure. Amber, made from the sap of an ancient tree sacred to them. Each child of Danu carries a shard of this amber. Once steeped in its owner's blood, the power that is held deep within the amber is set free. This is a somber request. How will I find one of these dark droids? A friend of ours tried to discover the identities that Danu have taken. He hoped to find one called the Wren. Then that friend was killed. The Danu are truly dangerous. You may find something in his abandoned house. Up north, near Port Orly Trading Post, at the mouth of the Bali Sadir. I will find this Wren, steep the amber in his blood, and return once I have done. I pray the spirits guide you. Eivor! I worried you'd come to harm. I did not, but the Wren did. May the Wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth, and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The Wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam where the Cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious Cursed. You take the cure to Keshalor. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. Eivor, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The Cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the farce of the blazing sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others. Your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness rolling toward Kira. Please watch over her. What tragedy has befallen you? Oh, thanks be. You're not one of them. One of who? The Danu. Not like any druids I've ever seen before. They grabbed me and me mates. We got lost in the fog and... Me mates. Keep your wits about you. The High Druid calls herself the Cursed. She sacrificed them, bit by bit. You understand? First a hand, then a leg. You should run while you're intact. But first, what is the Cursed planning to do? She dragged old Finton to some ritual. Poor man. I daren't think what's become of him. Save yourself. I will. I'm done with this place. Has Barith escaped Flaun's wrath? He has, and is much relieved. The soldiers are coming back to themselves. What have you learned? The Cursed will perform a sacrificial ritual. Sacrifice? Fae, the Cursed is then a High Druid. I learned that she is. But what does that mean? She wields great power. She will be protected by her acolytes. Not only her acolytes. I also learned the ceremony will be protected by a... a, a what was it? A puka. A puka? That will be dangerous, but we've no choice. The ritual will likely be held at Carnagan. We must look there. What is a puka? A kind of animal? A kind of animal? I will explain on the way. Come. There. Tracks. Puka, follow it.
of the moon. Your curses mean nothing. You came back when we both needed your awful might. And then... The cursed is dead. She accused you of betraying the children of Danu. I was once one of them. How can this be? Deirdre warned me against them, but back then it seemed the only hope. You knew these people. Why did you not direct me to the Ren? They only wanted to use me. Distrustful and secretive. I never knew their true names or anything about them. A glen of great beauty lies on our road. Find me when you're ready, and I'll confess my errors there. I used to wash away my cares and pain in this pond. Would it be all right if I... Of course. As a young girl, when the Christians cleared the forests of Druids, I fled and stumbled on this spot. How would I survive? My friends, the world I knew. Soon, I turned to the children of Thanu. At first, they pledged simply to keep the old ways alive. Then, one by one, druids turned to dark rituals. Then they turned to worse. Yes, even murder. I disavowed the children, and now pray for their destruction. The high druid spoke of some sort of awful might. Fantasies, an ancient fable of a people long lost. The druids are now dispersed without a champion. You have King Flaw. My hopes are placed in him, but am I a fool? He has no deep love of the past. He hopes to build a new Ireland. He pledges that my people will be part of it. But once he's king, storms will come. I cannot know where he will take refuge. You are no fool. You and I have been through much together. We came near death. I would like to celebrate life. This is why you brought me to this place. It is a lovely glen. Perhaps we could pass some time here. I would like very much to pass some time with you. I... lovely. Lovely indeed. <laughs> 